Hello friends how are you all I hope you all are doing great and taking care of yourselves friends till now we have understood about addition using finger count counting by objects addition on abacus and on number line Today in this video we will understand more about addition with the help of word problems including sentences number names gender and means of transport so let us read the first addition word problem a boy has 23 trucks A girl has thirteen trucks. So, friends, let us find out the total number of trucks they have. So, to solve this addition problem, we can use two ways: horizontal addition and vertical addition. But, friends, do you know what is horizontal addition? and what is vertical addition horizontal means a sleeping line in this type of addition the numbers are written side by side numbers ek dusre ke barabar likhe hote hain and they are added in a horizontal manner or we can say we add the numbers in a straight line for example 2 plus 1 here we will put addition sign in between the numbers and the sum is written after equal to sign so here you can see 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and they are added in a horizontal way vertical means a line in a standing position or it is said to be vertical in this type of addition the numbers are written one below the other and the addition symbol is put on the left side and the sum is written below like this so friends let us try to solve this word problem in both horizontal and vertical way here you can see there is both masculine and feminine gender and they both have trucks and we have to find out the total number of trucks they have and we know a truck is a land transport so let us find 23 plus 13 so friends let us first add in a horizontal way 23 plus 13 is equal to So while doing horizontal addition first we will add the numbers on ones place so first let's write the places of these numbers so in 13 3 is on ones place and 1 is on tens place same way in 23 3 is on ones place and 2 is on tens place so first we will add the numbers on ones place and here also we will write tens and ones so when we add numbers on ones place 3 plus 3 we know 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 so we will write 6 on ones place then we will add 
the numbers present on tens place. So numbers present on tens place are 2 plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So this way we can do addition in a horizontal manner. So 23 plus 13 is equal to 36. 36. We can do the same addition in vertical way. When we do vertical addition, first we always write tens and ones above the numbers. After that, we will write the first number. A boy has 23 trucks. So we will write 23. Here, after that, we will write the second number. A girl has 13 trucks. So we will write 13. After that, we will make a sleeping line. Then we will put the addition symbol on the left side. Again, we will first add the numbers present on one's place. Hamisha hum, one's place se addition start karenge. We will never start from tens place. So, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Also, we can add 3 plus 3, 3 in our mind and 3 on our fingers. So, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Then we will add the numbers on tens place. 2 plus 1. So 2 in our mind and 1 on finger. 2, 3. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So again the sum is 36. So this is the horizontal way and this is the vertical way. So total number of trucks are 36. Now, let us read another word problem. A prince has 33 chariots. A princess has 26 chariots. So, total number of chariots they have. So, in this problem, prince belongs to masculine gender and princess belongs to feminine gender. And chariot means Rath and chariot moves on land. So it is a yes, it is a land transport. Now let us find out the total number of chariots they have. So here we have to find out the total of 33 and 26. So let's solve this in vertical way. Before solving this, first we will write tens and one above the numbers. Then we will write the first number. A prince has 33 chariots. So this way we will write 33, 3 tens and 3 ones. After that, a princess has 26 chariots. Tens and six ones. Then we will put the addition symbol and one line. Then we will add the numbers on ones place. Three plus six. So let us keep six in our mind and three on our fingers. So six plus three, seven, eight, nine. So three plus six is equal to. 9. Now we will add the numbers on tens place. So 3 plus 2. So 3 in our mind and 2 on our finger. So 3, 4, 5. That means 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So here the total number of chariots are 59. Total number of chariots are 59. 9. Now friends, I hope you have understood both horizontal addition and vertical addition. Now let us do one activity 
In this activity, first we will frame sentences with the help given chits and after that we will solve the addition problem. So, are you guys ready? So friends, in this activity, we have few numbers here, some vehicles are here and some gender words are here. So, what we will do in this activity? First, we will frame the addition problem and after that, we will solve them by doing vertical addition. So, to frame an addition problem, first we will take the vehicles which are similar. For example, bus cars, cars, buses, buses, ships, ships. So, let us first take buses. So, here I have taken 11 buses and 37 buses. Now, what I will do? I will take one gender from here. Let's take aunt. So, friends, we know which word is this? Aunt. And aunt belongs to feminine gender. Now, can you tell me what is the opposite gender of aunt? Yes, it is uncle. Uncle and uncle belongs to masculine gender. Now we have some numbers and vehicles. Now let's frame the sentences like my aunt has 11 buses. So here we have one sentence. My aunt has 11 buses. Same way, my uncle has 37 buses. Now, total number of buses they have. We have to find out the total number of buses they have. So, first we will write number 1 here. Then we will write tens and buns. So, my aunt has 11 buses. So, we will write 11 here. 1, 10 and 1, 1. After that, my uncle has 37 buses. Now, what we have to do? We have to find out the total. So, we will put the addition symbol. Then, we will first add the numbers on 1's place. 7 plus 1. So, 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. Then we will add the numbers on tens place that is 3 plus 1. So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So the total number of buses they have 48. Now let us do the second one. Now we will take the ships together. So let's take ships and one gender one, say king. Now we have king, 25 ships, 24 ships. Now to frame sentences, let us find out the opposite gender of king. So what is the opposite gender of king? Yes, it is queen. So here, a king, here you will use the article a because king hamare relation ne nahi hai. So we will not use my. So a king has 25 ships. Same way, a queen has 24 ships. Now we have to find out 
the total number of shifts they have. So we will write number 2 here and again we will write tens and ones. So the first one was a king has 25 ships. So first we will write the first number 25. 2, 5, 25. Then a queen has 24 ships. So we will write 24. Then we will put the addition symbol and again first what we will do? We will add the numbers on ones place. 5 plus 4. So keep 5 in your mind and 4 on your fingers. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Now let's add numbers on tens place. Keep 2 in your mind and 2 on your fingers. 2, 3, 4. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So total number of ships they have is 40. Nine. Now let's take another example. Now we have 12 cars, 7 cars and father. Let us try to make sentences. What is the opposite gender for father? Yes, it is mother. Now let us frame the sentences my father here we will use my because father and mother wo hamare bhi ho sakte hai, so my father has 12 cars my father has 12 cars my mother has 7 cars and friends when we frame sentences we have to make sure that the first letter is always capital and the sentence ends with a full stop. So, my father has 12 cars. My mother has 7 cars. Now, let us find out the total number of cars they both have. So, we will write number 3 here. Then we will write tens and ones. After that we will write the first number. My father has 12 cars. 12 first. After that my mother has 7 cars. So where I will write 7? Here or here? Yes, 7 is a single digit number. So we will write 7 under ones how we will say seven seven ones then we will put the addition symbol and again first we will add the numbers on ones place seven plus two so keep seven in your mind and two on your fingers so seven eight nine so seven plus two is equal to nine now, here you can see that there is no number below 1. So, we can assume that we have 0 here. So, we can also write 0. So, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. When we add any number with 0, the answer is the number itself. So, the total number of cars is 19. So friends, I hope you all have understood and how to frame the addition problem and solve them. Now friends, what we have to do? We have to write all the addition problems given in the activity in maths notebook. Bye friends.